Hola! I'm back again for a, another vinyl update. As you can see with your very own eyes, I'm here live in stereo, in person, in full living, breathing color. Actually, it's sort of grainy looking, but you'll get that. <clears throat> Still drinking the southern, southern comfort, I guess. Southern flavor. It's actually warm. Uh, okay, I have some more stuff that I showed, or that I haven't showed. Yeah, if I already showed it, then it's sort of pointless to show it again. Even though I probably have done that in the past accidentally. Anyway, let's start off with some stuff that I got. Uh, this one I picked up for a friend at work. Um, he's um, new to the vinyl medium, and uh, he has a list, and I've been you know, sort of on the lookout for stuff for him. And I actually found this thriller he's been looking for this one and it used to be I seen this record everywhere and nowadays you just it just doesn't turn up so got that for him uh, this one is a duplicate I already had grease but you know it's in such mint condition for the most part I had to get it because you know, that one don't show up as much as it used to either uh, this Johnny Cash. Uh, this one's at San Quentin, which I think I have this. I, I think I have the CD. Might even have the vinyl. This one I did not have. This one's at uh, Folsom Prison. You know, a lot of Johnny Cash fans out there. I've always noticed about Johnny Cash. Um, he's a crossover artist. You know, especially nowadays. I mean, everyone likes Johnny Cash. Um, there's a few artists that's like that. This one's called Black Gold. This is a double album. Or two record set, as it says. This is on Warner Brothers. Um, it's not a gatefold. This has Roberta Flack, Wilson Pickett, Reith Franklin, R.B. Greaves, Clarence Carter, Otis Redding, Joe Tex, King Curtis, with the TNMGs. Donnie Hathaway. The songs like, uh, see, we have like Spanish Harlem, When a Man Loves a Woman, Soul Man, Sitting on the Dock of the Bay, Green Onions. You know, it's got some good stuff on it. Always like a lot of that. Uh, this one I seen online a long time ago, The Beetle Beat. I think I actually seen it in Cool and Strange Music Magazine back when I was a subscriber. Back when that magazine was still still a magazine, and uh, this is uh, obviously people trying to sound like the Beatles. Uh, I want to hold your hand is on here, but I think that's the only Beatles song. All the rest is sounding originals. Uh, the Living Strings. This is Songs of the Monkeys, and uh, you know, like I said in my last video, I like easy listening, so. They do all the monkeys' greatest hits there. Uh, the same day that I got all these, um, I bought a turntable, and uh, it had a cassette deck on it. And the cassette, neither one of the cassette decks worked, and the turntable didn't work. The reason I bought it is because it had a needle on it. A lot of times, um, you don't find turntables with needles, so I just, for some reason, assumed that it worked. Um, so anyway, I was taking that back, and uh, you know, since I was there, I had to go ahead and look through the records again. And they had like probably, I'd say 30, at least 30, uh, Elvis records. And I'm not a big Elvis collector, but you know, a lot of Elvis records just, uh, I mean, a lot of ones that they had, I'd never seen. You know, not just at a thrift store, but I, you know, just had never seen them uh, in person. That is. Um, but I didn't buy all of them. I wanted to, but I know that I wouldn't probably listen to all of them. So uh, I just bought the ones that I either was an upgrade or just mainly most of these I think are live. This one is uh, the last one did it, Elvis in Concert. And I have a copy of this. This one's a little bit better than the one I have. Um, this was his last one. This was recorded for CBS. And I used to play this place that I used to work 
we had a record player and I always used to play music. And if we played this one to death all the time, there's all the records there. Elvis. There's the insert. And they had all these records on here. I think they had all of those there. Or just just about all of them. So there's that. And his, his voice in this one is really good. He has a really strong voice up to the day he died. Um, and the comments between the songs are just absolutely hilarious. Uh, this one's at Madison Square Garden. And I think I have the CD of this one. Um, but anyway. Uh, this one is recorded in Memphis. Uh, I think this was recorded in Elvis's Jungle Room, if I'm not mistaken. So it's it's live, more or less. Uh, this one here is the way it is from the soundtrack. Excuse me, soundtrack movie from the Elvis's Vegas stint. And this one is the Aloha from Hawaii. This was an upgrade than the one I had. So, you know, that's the sleeve there. It's a great picture. You don't see that every day. I mean, I guess you could see it every day if you got the record out and looked at it every day. And then we have another one. This is Volume 2, Legendary Performer. Uh, and I picked this one up basically because it has the book with it. And the one that I have previous doesn't have the book. And it has, like, you know, photos and newspaper clippings. And, and I think this, I think these series, I think there's three of these. I think they came out after he passed away. If I'm not mistaken. And I remember as a kid, this picture of him looks like he's crying. It's actually sweat, and it looks like he's crying. I even seen velvet paintings of that. That just that's an iconic image in my mind from my childhood. This one, I think I already have, but maybe not. Print sign of the times. Uh, and if I do have it, I know I owned it at one time. Mine was different. Somehow, let's see, mine was a gatefold. This one is not. And this one has this sticker here, and mine did not. I've never seen one with that sticker, so. I mean, that's actually on the sleeve, but this has, you know, this has a lot of, uh, every song's good. I mean, Sign of the Times. Um, Starfish and Coffee, that's a good one. Uh, you Got the Look. Um, Strange Relationship, If I Was Your Girlfriend. Um, never Take the Place of Your Man. Uh, let's see, what's the other one here? Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, Hot Thing, that's a good one. Forever in My Life. They're all good. You know, I, I like everything this Prince does, more or less. This one my girlfriend had picked up a while back, Tiffany. And, you know, this was, uh, it's only $1.99, so it's an awesome picture there. And there's no sleeve, just a little clear plastic sleeve. Uh, and this is a reissue I've been wanting forever, and I finally picked up a copy, Blue Cheer. It's their first album from 68. And I listened to this, and I knew it was going to be good. I mean, I have it on my iPod, so, you know, it's on Phillips. And it's got the embossed cover. So, you know, I've seen it there, and it's like, oh, God, I just, I have the money. I just need to go ahead and get it. I also bought this uh, same day, same place. This record looks really cool. It's called Don't Be Square, Go Ape. It also came with a CD download, or a CD, rather, of all of the songs. Um, this record's sort of odd. It came with this strip down the front. You can see that. Uh, it's played on 45 speed, um, and it has eight songs on each side. And it has songs, it has a lot of songs I've never heard, but it has some uh, odd ones on here. It has like Nervous Norvis doing Transfusion. That's like a song that was a staple on Dr. Demento show. Um, and we have um, Elvis Presley do The Clam. Um, let's see who else we got in here. Um, David Seville doing Witch Doctor. 
Clarence Frogman Henry ain't got no home. Uh, want one the Jackson. It's got some good stuff on it. I really enjoyed this album. I liked it a lot. Uh, then we have this. Who's this? Marshall Crenshaw. This is the one that I didn't have. I have his. I think the second one. This is his first one. Has some day, some way on it. And this is a really good album. I'd heard that it was. It's a uh, you know very pop friendly. And I like the cover a lot. Uh, this one I've heard so much about all the time. Uh, Bob Lynn Turner Overdrive, Not Fragile. This is a rockin' album. And to my knowledge, I didn't have it. I mean, that's it's very possible that I do have it. But I don't remember listening to it. And that happens a lot. You know, I got so much that it's hard to consume it all. And then because I have so much, I forget what I've actually listened to. This one was really cool, Rockin' Easy. I picked this one up, one, because it's a compilation, and two, it's like worn, 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 and that's very attractive to me. Some it says Mike loves Michelle on here, and then it says on the back it it, it said Mike loves Michelle and it's scratched off and it says Penny Jean. I love Penny Jean instead of Michelle, so that's sort of funny. But it's got a lot of good stuff on it. it has Todd Rundgren, Carly Simon, Hall and Oates, uh, Nielsen, Bonnie Raitt. Uh, America, Fleetwood Mac, you know, a lot of easy listening stuff, BGs, Linda Ronstadt, not easy listening, but it says rock and easy, so. 24 laid back hits, that's what it is. So there's all the uh, recent uh, stuff, or not the most recent, but, you know, in the past week at least. So uh, thanks for checking out my video and my channel and keep it tuned right here and you'll keep seeing more because it seems to be a non-stop um, addiction. We'll see you.